that way. You might take a dim view of the whole thing. Absolutely nothing wrong with Mr. Dempsey that he can't cure in your regard, George, with a good hard right. It's only one of my maneuvers. Rather illegal, I'd say. Here we go again. Dempsey trying to prevent it this trip. Lego. George, your hairdo is getting a little bit bedraggled. It's one of the nicest reasons I've ever seen for the Kreml ads. There's <clears throat> another one. These broad arm licks are included as part of the category, and George almost went out of the rink there, boy. There's another drag. Uh, We, these kids have stirred up the ring dust here. Frankie got poked in the tummy. That's what's the matter with him. Uh, uh, uh. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh, we're going to play smush smush now. Consists of covering up your opponent's breathing apparatus and then just to further confuse him, gouging him in the eyes. Oh no, Mr. Dempsey, look at the flat part of my hand. You look out, Buster, you get one. But people, you seem to be siding with him. I think he's trying to get his vision back somewhere around 2200 here. Or at least 2190. Might blurred to him. Uh oh. Fair for one, fair for the other, Georgie. Why, that haircut of his vibrates like an old cedar mop when he gets hit, doesn't it? Hmm. Charming. And another one. Almost got Bill Clinky, our sound man, then. Uh oh. There was a falling headlock. This is one thing that George has developed and rather feels kindly toward. There's a count of one, two, three. Actually, Jack had to make a count of two, another count of one, and then finally a count of three, if you were watching there. But the crowd buys uh, gorgeous George's win. Mr. Frames Usher, your Wrigley's is showing there, boy. Don't chew so vigorously. as you may well know, unless you've just uh, tuned in a little bit late, was won by Gorgeous George from Frankie Talibur. And uh, let her put this crowd here in the International Amphitheater on its ear. Uh, George, not too many promenades, boy. There's a 10 seconds or so. No, the bell didn't ring. It did ring, didn't it? No, old boy, if a whistle sounds like a bell, you better have a physical checkup. You know what they say, after body slams, you start hearing bells everywhere. There's the bell, George. Now we can go. Oh, yes, we see you're out.
Everybody mocking him to the ring here. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. What is this going to build up to? Did you hear what Caliber said? He says, we'll stay out. We'll have to be broken up. All right, break back, George. No, 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 yuggity, yuggity, yuck. George, uh, you got to give him wagon room, it says here. Why, you... You... Another way, Slog. Everybody's yelling for Frankie to throw him out over the ropes. Nice break. Oh, there's another one. Well, take that, take that. Oh, the lion is wounded. The whole delight now. Reception that Caliber is not choking. Dempsey's looking a whole detail over here. Look at him pull that arm out. Careful now, boys. George, look, you're about as honest with all of that as a set of purple teeth. Now, uh, I won't go good. Our orchid man is becoming slightly draggled, looking like one after the spring prom, if you know what I mean. No toast to the coast. Hello! Boy, he wasn't figuring on that one. Winding up that way, the body slam and the press. One. Look out, Jackson. Yep, they're under the ropes. I have to be broken up. That always helps his thinking. See how Caliber brought that knee up there? some more of this supreme possum playing here. See what I mean? Well, there's a hammerlock on George. Don't think he counted on the maneuver winding up that way. Mm. Oh, with the flat of my hand, Mr. Dempsey. There's a run under wrist lock. Benched in the takedown. 